All right, hey everybody, Jason here. We're back, we're talking this time. What we're gonna be talking about is uh, keep the emotions out of your purchase. Okay, there's no reason to let your emotions drive your choice here and there's ways around that. Um, first of all, you wanna understand, you gotta check the vehicles, okay? Here's a bunch of F-150s. These are all 2024s. Why are they all 2024s? Because there's only like 100 2025s in the entire country right now. But there's, uh, there's 75,000 F-150s that are 2024s that are available. So they might do some negotiating on them. You might get some better deals on these than you would on others. But then again, you may not. I've just done deal videos. I actually know the reality. But point being is that this, if it offers what you're looking for versus something else, like say a Silverado or something, and you can get what you want in here, there's a lot of value in that. Take the one that's got the that's going to cost you the least amount of money. Okay, shop brands against each other. If Ram, for example, a 2025 Ram has got three times the discounts on them is what these do right now, and yet there's nothing that this offers that Ram doesn't offer. And actually, some will say that the Ram's better interior and nicer anyway. But point being, do not let the emotions get involved. Drive them all. Find the vehicle that's going to meet your needs best and buy that one. Also, do not get swept away in packages, okay? Here is an STX, okay? STX version. How's this look inside? Looks pretty nice, right? Okay, this is considered a simple one. Here's an XLT. Looks about the same, doesn't it? But this is a big difference in package between this one and this one, you have to weigh those considerations. Okay, what's going to matter most to you in these kind of a things that you're looking at? What about this, for example, right here? Okay, maybe you're walking through the lot and you're like, oh, look at this, look at this. Ooh, I like that one. That one looks good. You're right, it does look good. Okay, look how nice that looks. That looks perfect. Okay, it's got a level kit on it. It's got some bigger tires on there. Same stock wheels, but bigger tires, a level kit on there. We'll have to see what it's got on there, but you know they're going to charge you more money because they did this at the dealership. Is that the way to go? Maybe. It's just tires and a leveling kit. I'm sure it's a leveling kit. Let's see here. Yeah, there's a level block in there. Okay, it's just a leveling kit. It's all this is on here, uh, but we got new tires. We got a leveling kit. It is used, actually. Uh, what do they got? Oh, they got a leveling kit, upgraded tires, bed liner, wheel well liners, who cares about that, window tint, and tailgate lettering, and they want $7,000 upgrade. Seven grand to upgrade that on this used truck. Okay, now you could get all this stuff done very easily by taking it to the, uh, up to the actual dealership and having it, or taking it up to a Line X and having them do the Line X on there. You don't need the wheel liners. I don't understand why that that's a big deal or not, either way. And uh, you could do the tires for about 1,800 bucks on this thing yourself. They're charging seven grand and then the leveling kit, uh, like I said, is about a $250 leveling kit. So when you do the math, um, you can see how you could emotionally just say, ooh, I want that and pay the extra money for it. And you'd be okay doing that. But there's ways to do it better. Do not get overwhelmed and let the emotional aspect get it. Why? Because there's only one of these on this entire lot set up like this. But there's hundreds of these other ones that are just like it that are available out there for you to be able to buy and then do this too. But this one, they will have you buy the they will literally make it where you gotta, in order to get this, you don't have anything else to compare it to, so you have no leverage whatsoever. You won't get a good deal on this. Where these, they're a dime a dozen, and they're on every single lot, everywhere you turn, and the options are available for you, so you can get them, and they are options for you, and you can then negotiate that down, and then you can get this stuff done. Do not let it be emotional. Look, but So anyway, that kind of defeated my purpose, but this right here, Platinum. Okay, beautiful truck, looks nice. Got all the bells, whistles, fancy black wheels. Uh, you know, look in here, it looks gorgeous, right? This is what you call an emotional buy. There's no reason for this when you have a STX right here that looks almost as good and has pretty much everything else you need. There's just, is the value there for that? You'll have to be the one to decide. Most of the time, this purchase is made not based on value, it is made based on emotions, okay? Gotta have the biggest, the best, gotta have the coolest thing. That is getting into hot water for most people. It's going car broke, it's defeating the purpose. Okay, it's not gonna benefit you that much. So, look at here, we got two, uh, got Ranger right here, we got Ranger right here, Ranger right here, XLT, I am wondering, out of curiosity, if one of these is going to have the CS still a 2.3. I'm just looking here because I want to test drive very badly. I want to test drive the 2.7. I'm going to come around and check this one, see if I get lucky. 
to them, both are two threes. I, I, this dealership barely ever gets a Ranger and they're like sold the second they show up here. So it's very rare to even see a Ranger on this particular lot. Even though there's so many Rangers out there, these guys do really good at moving them. They do a really good job of moving them. But again, do not let this get emotional, okay? You see me up here all the time at these dealerships. I love these things. I love being at these dealerships. I love being at these places. I love everything about trucks. I want trucks all the time. But I have to be careful to keep my emotions out of it. If I let my emotions get the best of me, I end up buying things that I can't afford, I don't need to have, or I will regret owning later. Buyer's remorse is a very legitimate thing. You will get it. Um, the novelty of this wears off. Any vehicle you buy, the novelty will wear off way before the payment does. Okay? There's a huge difference in there. Okay, this, like I said, love this. Okay, this is what Tina wants really bad. Some of these are in my budget. Some of them are not in my budget. I have to be very cautious in which ones I buy so that I make sure I get the one that does fit our budget if I am going to buy it, which means Raptors are out. It means that some of the uh, higher end ones with the Sasquatch packages are tougher to do. You, okay, you have to be realistic so that you don't end up sank uh like this see these little things right here you talk you hear me talk about them all the time the little broncos okay i love everything about these little broncos why because they're very capable they're very functional they have a tremendous amount of room they're very reliable for what they are anything else in the category and they're priced so incredibly well forget the window sticker we know that you can get 12 or fourteen thousand dollars off these things every single day so the value here is just absolutely tremendous we got one of them going off over here hold on got buzzers going off on it wait till it stops but when you look at these little dudes, they're like the Maverick, okay? The Maverick here, as you see these Mavericks, these Mavericks, they're a great truck, okay? They're unibody, but they are a great truck. You got, I mean, the way that these things are engineered, the amount of space they have inside them, makes them amazing. And their prices, though getting up and higher than what they should be for what it is, their prices are still pretty reasonable. It's coming in 34 and you can probably get it for about 32, 30,000 if you're lucky, 31,000, somewhere in there. But these little dudes here, okay, these are little gems. Okay, look at this. Look at all the Mavericks. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Like I said, getting more and more all the time. But these little, these little dudes right here, okay, these. People laugh when I make videos about these. They joke. They're like, oh, my God, I can't believe he even likes that thing. No offense to anybody, either whatever they want to say. Um, but you look inside this thing, take a look at that. Look at how nice and how much space is in this. Very big back seats for its size. Usable back ends for their size. It's hard to see in there. Sorry, I know. But uh, there's a good space. These things have got a lot of good space in them. And their prices, this one here is used. We're not going to see a window sticker on it. But for the what, regardless of what the window pr uh, stickers say, we know that we can get $12,000 off of these things all day long. Okay, so you take this one right here. This is a sport. This is a Badlands one. It's going to be a pricier one. $45,000. Cabler. Here's this an outer. What a Big Ben right here. Look at this one. $34,000. Ten grand less. $34,000 for this. Okay, you can get this. This is four wheel drive. Okay, four wheel drive. Tremendous amount of room on the inside of this thing. Perfect space. Perfect setup. And you can get this thing for like twenty three, or I mean like uh, $27,000. You could get this for. Let that be a reality to that. Okay. Like I said, there is a lot of power in a vehicle like this that keeps the emotional aspect out of it. Doesn't get you caught up. But you also see how easy it is to just say, I want this trim for $45,000 when you can get this trim for $35,000 sticker price, which means $27,000, $34,000, that kind of thing, $35,000. But you get what I'm getting at here, okay? You can get them in the same colors. Does that look any different than that does? A little bit, but not enough to make a difference. A little different in the valence. You got tow hooks on the front because it's a little more off-roady. But you see what I'm getting at. Notice we have the... Uh, uh, roof racks on both. You got the whole setup. It's all right here for you. you got everything that you need. What the hell's he doing here? But uh, yeah, so like I said, fantastic uh, setup here on these things, and they got some good potential. And that's the key. The key is keep the emotions out of them. Keep the emotional aspect out of the game so that they don't uh, they don't run you down. So you're not caught up in it. Otherwise, you'll be end up broke and not happy. 
got the super duties love the super duties doesn't matter if it's you know but if it's ford or if it's ram or any of that stuff you should be pricing these to compare who's going to have the better deals okay these are fantastic trucks absolutely love them just make sure you don't end up going broke getting them if you're not towing with these things regularly if you don't have a fifteen thousand pound or ten thousand pound uh trailer or an rv camper or something that you got to use this for do you, don't get the diesel there's no benefit to having a diesel over the gas one. And look at the money you spend. But people will go broke. They will go truck broke and let it get emotional because they got to have the biggest, the best, and the baddest. Right here, perfect example. King Ranch, okay? King Ranch Super Duty. We are talking big money for this, okay? This is an FX4. This is going to have the diesel. This has got the high output 6.7, okay? High output because it's red. $100,000 truck. Beautiful inside. Look at that. Ooh, that is so sexy. Look at that. I got to have that W on my seat, that twin leather. Oh, my God. This thing is amazing. $100,000 plus tax plus all that stuff. Your $110,000 out the door. F350 King Ranch. High output power stroke. Looks amazing. What do we got over here? That's a Lariat. So that's still even higher. That's still pretty high-end trim. But what else do we have let's take a look if you wanted to really uh tone it down some uh larry and here's one here's a uh f250 6.7 diesel not high output so it's going to last longer and hold up better than a high output stx trim 250 right here okay we got this set up on there and we got a window sticker over there on that side still an fx4 same as that king ranch was so we get the same package layout same kind of everything and where are we coming so it's the same truck same exact truck Although the difference is we got a simpler interior. Oh, and we're coming in at, you know, $25,000 cheaper. $20,000 $25, cheaper. Okay? Don't let it be an emotional buy. Don't let these vehicles overwhelm you. Be smart. Think about it before you sign on that dotted line. Because for many of you, that's, that's going to be for five, six, or seven years that you are stuck with whatever decision you make however you go to put it together. So let that sink in. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.